said the word culture, they would instantly deny you tenure because you obviously were not serious and couldn't understand the difference between a Disney wildlife cartoon and the real world. And these days, the two hottest words in primatology are culture and personality. Culture in terms of the non-genetic transmission of learned behavior either intra or intergenerationally. And by that classic rule of social anthropology, we are not the only species that has culture. We have chimps who not only have 20, 25 different ways of making tools, but their young learn from their mothers how to do this. This is passing on of this culture. And one particularly great study, what was shown was uh, among chimps, daughters learn the techniques much better than sons because when they're little, the sons are way too distracted to pay attention to what mom's doing with the termite stick there. The daughters learn the new techniques much faster. This is cultural transmission. Social anthropologists have conniptions over this, but this meets the formal definition. And animal cultures can be even more subtle than the mere passing on of the information of how you make your termite stick. And this is some work that my wife and I did some years ago studying our baboons out in East Africa, showing a very unique case of cultural transmission in a different species. This was a troop of baboons we were studying in East Africa where it just happened the neighboring troop had within its territory a tourist lodge with a garbage dump and the baboons in that neighboring troop spent most of their day just sort of foraging on the leftover food in this garbage pit. Really charming. And in fact, we did some studies on those animals. They would get elevated cholesterol levels, insulin levels, triglycerides, tooth decay, all of that. So they're feasting there on a westernized diet. They also get the first markers of metabolic syndrome. So they're having a fine time. They're eating the leftover British desserts from this tourist lodge. And what evolved was a subset of the males in our troop going over in the morning to do the same. At one point then, there was an outbreak of tuberculosis, which turned out to be due to contaminated meat at the tourist lodge, which was winding up in this garbage dump. TB goes like wildfire in non-human primates. It is not festering there for years while you can be Thomas Mann writing thousand-word novels about it. It goes through groups of primates like wildfire, and it killed most of the animals in this troop, and it killed all the animals from our troop that were going over to there to the forage. So, okay, so 50% of the males in this troop had just been killed. Critically, it was not random which males died. What sort of males would be doing this? Number one, it had to be the most aggressive males in the troop because you're going over to the neighbors to fight your way in among twice as many males to try to get some of your garbage, some of their garbage. Second, baboons do most of their social grooming and gossiping and stuff first thing in the morning. If these guys were picking up to run over and fight for garbage instead, these were the least socially affiliated males. So suddenly what you have is a troop where the surviving males are the least aggressive, most socially affiliated ones. And this transformed the atmosphere of this troop. They became far more social. The average distance between them decreased a whole lot. Far less aggression. You see males carrying infants around all over the place. These good guy males, you see something extraordinary. If you're a primatologist, a baboonologist, this picture is more shocking than if this was like showing baboons flying or being photosynthetic. Or, these are two male baboons socially grooming each other. Male baboons do not groom each other. They try to rip each other's faces open. In this troop, the males groom each other. And you have this completely different atmosphere. And what qualifies this as a culture is as new males join the troop, males growing up elsewhere and transferring in as adolescents, it takes them about six months to take on this behavioral style. It is this transmission of culture. So we are not the only ones in ways that are previously thought to be unique to us. So what's unique about human?